Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here and today I wanted to do a bit of a dual purpose video for you. Uh, first of all I want to take a look at this which is the Maxpedition Fatty Gear Organizer or Pocket Organizer and just uh, quite quickly show you my current loadout in that and what I carry with me in this on a pretty much on a day to day basis. And secondly I want to just unload this and load as much as possible into this which is the Maxpedition EDC Pocket Organizer and Gear Organizer. Um, similar, well actually same dimensions, height and width, but thickness. This is much thinner pack and lower capacity, so I just wanted to see exactly uh, what the difference is and hopefully this might be useful to someone who is trying to decide between these two packs. Um, I bought this one first, uh, hoping it would be big enough for my needs. I found it wasn't and had to move up to the fatty, so if it can help someone else in the same situation, then great. Uh, just interesting for my own needs as well to see uh, how the gear transfers over. So, um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the construction. Um, pretty much everyone knows that Maxpedition is good quality gear. These are sturdy, well built packs, good zips, molly webbing on the back, um, semi waterproof, I guess. And yeah, so that's that's really all we need to say. There's thousands of reviews on on all these uh, small gear organizers and Maxpedition bags. So, um, you know, feel free to browse there. I'm more interested in exactly the capacity of these two. So let's set the, the EDC bag aside. Now I bought this and then this because I wanted literally an EDC carry bag for uh, the little bits and pieces that I want with me every day so I was hoping, guessing by, well judging by the name of this, the EDC bag, um, this would be enough but unfortunately it wasn't quite so I moved up to the fatty and this is my current loadout. As you can see it's pretty well filled. I wouldn't say it was overfilled. There's still a little bit of space there if I had the right shaped stuff to fit in. So uh, let's just go ahead and rip it open. So on the outside in this Velcro Procket, which most people normally say isn't massively useful, and I would have to agree because when it is full like this you really you really can't get a lot in there. But I do find that I managed to keep my, my car keys in there and they're easily accessible in this carabiner if I need to take them off and put them in my pocket. So uh, car and truck keys, let's open it up. Now, um, I've watched quite a lot of these videos and I think I'm a little bit unusual in the fact that I actually keep an item loose right in the middle of my pack and that is this moleskin um, full size soft cover notebook. Um, there's just not an obvious place for me to put this. Um, if you put it in the zip pocket at the back here, it's very, very hard to get out just due to the vertical dimen the height dimension rather of the notebook uh, and the zip is pretty pretty snug. The slip pocket at the back here, if you put it in, it's really hard to get out because of all these tools in front. So I find that this is something I need a lot for work just to be able to have quick, easy access to. So I keep it there sitting right in the middle and I just always make sure my bag's flat when I unzip it. I never had a problem with that and it's there, you know, pull it out straight away and it's, it's ready to go. And I keep my pens right here um, so within seconds I can have this unzipped and be taking notes, which is what I need. So, Moleskine Notebook. Um, as I mentioned, two pens, just a simple uh, uh, pen for my company. This is Ballpoint Black and a Parker Ballpoint Blue. Just simple basic pens, nothing tactical or um, high tech about those. I'm not, not a huge pen guy to be honest. If it can write some notes then that's good enough for me. This isn't a survival pack, this is an everyday so I don't really see any need for, for a special pen to be honest. So let's start with the left side. On the front here we have the Task Mini Pry Bar. Um, now I originally thought that this, the size of this bend and the 90 degree angle might make this a little difficult to pack in here. But I actually find packing it with the, the bend towards the back of the pack um, actually works quite well to keep this spaced out and allow me to layer the other items. Um, so, small pry bar. I have a mini ratchet here and also a bit kit in the, the rear Velcro. Uh, slide in pocket here or slide in loop. Um, this mini ratchet, something I bought and was quite excited about using. It's the sort of thing that I normally love. Uh, this set I got on Amazon, I think. I'll try and put a link in the description. Um, I do use it, but I just don't love it. And I will probably change this out for a small screwdriver set or something similar in the near future. It, it has a good action. Sometimes it's a little slippy. I don't know if I just got a bad one or whatever, but. Yeah, just uh, don't really love this, but it stays in there for now because it is it is useful, obviously. Next thing, um, Victorinox Swiss Army Knife Climber. Um, just a basic three-layer knife, small blade, big blade, can opener, bottle opener, 
scissors, which are the most useful thing on it in my opinion. Um, corkscrew, tweezers, toothpick. Pretty simple Swiss Army knife, but you know I would I would probably never pack one of these sort of kits without one of those. So that's what's in there just now. Um, a lot of people remove this key keeper because they find it, it's kind of bulky and it gets in the way. I do agree with that to some extent, but uh, these are the only keys that I need, two keys, so I just keep them on there because, you know, it's just the simplest place to keep them and they're nice and easy to pull out and use, so two keys. Um, Multi-tool, I currently have this trade tool that you'll see reviewed elsewhere on my channel. Um, keeping this in there for now really just for review purposes, I'm still trying to get some use on it and see how it holds up. Um, I have a new Leatherman on the way that will probably be replacing this soon. But for now, that's in there. Pliers, knife blade, um, screwdrivers, all small saw, all the basic multi-tool uh, components are in there. So that is what I'm using for now. Uh, so straight multi-tool. In the back here, I have the CRKT Eating Tool XL. It's quite a lot of use when I'm at work, and uh, yeah, I find this pretty comfortable to use, pretty easy to eat with, all sorts of meals. Um, has a few other little tools that you know are duplicated lots of other places on this kit, but I do like the longer eating tool. It's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more comfortable to eat with. So that's in there, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's you know the the bowl of the spoon isn't or the spork rather isn't really too deep, so. Slides in the back there pretty easily, and I just keep a small carabiner clipped on the top there. So eating tool. Now the only item I'm probably not going to remove from this pack to transfer over to the other because there's you know there's just no need. It's tiny. Um, at the top here, wrapped around the Maxpedition actual tag, I keep a couple of these large twist ties. These are the sort you find usually on the top of um, ground coffee packs or sometimes cookie packs. And these are really strong ties and. I you know I use these quite a lot. They're a great thing to have in a kit like this. Very very useful. They're about maybe I don't know six to eight inches long, um, nice and wide. They twist up really well, and uh, yeah, that's a pretty obvious place to keep them. Just threaded through there. So I keep about three of them in there. I'm not going to take those off just now. Um, you have exactly the same Maxpedition uh, tag label in here, so that's where they would go. Um, just not worth switching them over for the purpose of this review. They're a bit of a pain to put back in there, but great in a pinch if you need them. In the rear slip pocket here, I have a few knot cards. Um, can't say these get a lot of a lot of use, but you know, in an emergency, it might be a good thing to have. Again, bought in a whim on Amazon, and and uh, yeah, they live in there if I ever need them. Moving on to this side, uh, in the spine loop here, which is you know really an obvious place for a flashlight. I have a Streamlight Protac small flashlight and a great little light, um, nice and thin, a little pocket clip just to keep it secured onto the Velcro loop here, and uh, yeah, it lives in there. Nice height too, it keeps the spine of the, the pack nicely uh, rigid. Uh, knife, now this is really just a backup knife for me, um, if you watch my other videos you probably know I have recently got a Spyderco Persistence, which is my, my real ADC blade, that stays in my pocket. So this is a backup for me, this is the CRKT uh, Pazoda, really cheap little knife, right, usually around about 15 bucks on Amazon, and a uh, nice little blade, I do like the style of it, the design of it, a uh, little uh, thumb hole opener there, nice and slim, really slim uh, metal handle, and uh, yeah, that doesn't take up a lot of room in here, just nice to have a little backup. So that's a knife blade. Um, attached to the the uh, zipper for the, the rear pocket here, on a small Night Eyes uh, locking carabiner, I have two little capsules. Uh, one of these is empty, would, current, would usually have some uh, just a couple of pain, pain reliever pills, and the other one has a $20 note rolled up. So it goes off there, um, just for emergencies of course. At the back here I have, now these large Velcro loops here is usually where people would keep like a um, like an Altoids mini survival kit, something like that. I have um, two of these which are Zippo boxes. If you own a Zippo lighter you'll know they come in a box like this. I find these really good for um, you know small kits. So I have two of these. I'm not going to go into them just now because they are a world unto themselves. And I'll review those and show you what I have in there in a different video. But two of those boxes, I find they fit in here really nicely. And just to make the fit even better, I actually have a paracord 
bracelet looped around in here. Um, always good to have a bit of paracord with you. If I didn't have this, I'd probably have a small hank of it, but I find that this bracelet, which I do wear sometimes, the rest of the time stays in here. It's just a great way to carry it, nice and compact. And as I say, it fills out these loops just enough to keep those two Zippo boxes nice and snug and keep everything where it should be. So that's it. Um, in the rear zipper pocket here, I don't keep a lot. I find if you overfill the zipper pocket or the slip pocket here, um, it makes a big difference to the to the internal capacity, which is the main um, selling point of these for me, to the actual loop capacity, because it really you know pushes those forward and can mess up the whole kind of layout of the thing. So I try and keep this to a minimum what you put in here. It's also not really e that easily accessible. So in the back one here, I just have business card holder for, for work again. So put that there, put that somewhere that's not gonna not gonna blind everyone. Um, so that's it, empty. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and start filling it and I'll restart the video once it's mostly full and we can see what the difference in capacity is. Thanks for sticking with me. Okay guys, welcome back and as you can see I have this which is the EDC pack mostly full, the uh, the fatty is still empty and as you can see I've managed to fit most things in um, we're currently missing out one Zippo box this Zippo box here is an extremely tight fit in this right hand large velcro loop um, almost impractically tight but it does fit but if you have that in there you're simply not getting this other box in the, the large left hand loop at the back there so that's where the knife is at the front I have Swiss Army knife and the small ratchet we have the two uh, mini canisters at the back and in here currently I have the note cards and business cards. On the left, multi-tool, the mini uh, bit kit at the back there, two pens, flashlight, keys, heating tool. So as you can see the only real items we're missing are the other mini kit, the notebook which is a bit of a deal breaker for me because as you know that was loose in here and it's something I use probably more than anything else and the power cord bracelet which isn't really a big deal I could wear that or you could probably find somewhere to fit it in here I mean these being on here aren't really the most practical but it is a way of attaching them I've got them on this small um, key loop here and you know it works it's uh, it's one of those things it's not ideal but it does work so we could I guess take the business cards and note cards out of there you could just carry a couple of business cards in the in the back pocket of the moleskin if you wanted so I guess if we put the moleskin in here, how do we look when we, you know, there's all my main items. These are, you know, things I could potentially do without. Is this going to close up? Okay, so this, yeah, you can see it does close up. The, uh, it's not quite as smooth a close as the fatty was with all that gear in it. It is pretty distorted as you can see, it's really not designed to carry quite that much stuff, but it's there, it's contained, and if this is all you had, you can get all that gear in there. I would imagine that a much better pack or a sort of loadout is going to be to remove that moleskin notebook, leave that there with all those items, and if we close it up like that, yeah. There you go, that's probably pretty much how they intended the EDC to look when it was fully packed. Not overstuffed, you can see the spine is extended a bit, but um, you know, that's probably what normal working capacity should be. So there you have it guys, that's the difference between the Max Fission EDC and Max Fission Fatty. Uh, pretty much just those items there, not a huge difference. The price in these isn't really very different either, it's more what's going to come down to fitting your particular needs. So. Hopefully, if you were considering these two packs, um, I might have helped you make your choice. As I say, I bought the EDC first and then moved up to the fatty. Obviously, having a bit more capacity is, is the way to go if, if you're worried about fitting everything in here. So, yeah, hopefully that review helped you. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. As always, your likes, uh, shares, and subscribing to the channel is appreciated. And, uh, yeah, more reviews to come.